Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center, and we are joined today by the president of the Ocean Exploration Trust, Dr. Robert Ballard. Dr. Ballard is aboard Nautilus, which is in the southeastern Aegean Sea on the fourth and final leg of the 2012 expedition. Tell me, Dr. Ballard, looking back at this year, what was your favorite part and why? Well, I, I all of it, but I was, my special part of it, I can tell you, was the last leg that we went on. Uh, a, I was on it, but B, uh, I was able to bring my son, and he uh, has a passion for the classics. And I also had another student aboard named Kelsey uh, uh, Cornwall, who had just got a degree in classics and medieval studies at Bates, and he's debating about what his next step was going to be. And on that expedition, we had biological things going on, geological things going on. But the fun one for us was finding an ancient trade route, tracking it down, and then finding at the, as the reward an amazing ship from the time of Alexander the Great that was way out to sea and was huge. And we're having so much fun uh, figuring out not only that ship, but all the other ships that have been uh, going over this area over the last 3,000 years. That was a, a detective story, and, and it was a lesson to young people, and it worked. Wonderful. And can you tell us, looking forward to next year's expedition, what do we have in store? Well, next year is going to be a hoot. I mean, we're, as you know, we're leaving the Mediterranean. We've been here for 25 years uh, and 13 years in the Black Sea and all the life of the Nautilus. The Nautilus has lived, except for one little poking its nose out in the Atlantic last year. It's, it's lived in the Black Sea and Mediterranean. We're now going to leave, and we're going to begin a trip around the world, and we'll be stopping along the way, and the first stop next year will be the Caribbean. Uh, we're not exactly sure what we're going to do because we're having a big confab. We're bringing together a, a lot of people who c have been waiting for the Nautilus to come into the Caribbean. We're having a big workshop down in Miami, at the University of Miami uh, in November, and from that workshop, we're we will finalize the Nautilus's schedule. We hope it to be at least four months in length. We're thinking it'll be June and July and stand down for hurricane season and then come back up on, on November and December. Uh, but where we actually go, we don't know yet. But we're going to figure that out shortly. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Ballard, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. My pleasure. And we'll get back to mapping these ancient shipwrecks. Take care. For those of you following at home, you can join us on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, you can always tune in to live exploration at nautiluslive.org.